It is a good day of our commerce family and our friends online. This is still our media fast, the second week of our media fast, tagged help from above. We'll be praying for our youth today. And I want to believe God for a turnaround in their lives to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to look at, when we talk about the youth, we are looking at our children, we are looking at our teenagers before they come into the age of young adults. And so I want to read a scripture. And that is taken from Matthew chapter number 2, verse number 7. And it reads, Then Herod secretly summoned the wise men and asked them the exact time the star appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. For when you find him, report back to me so that I too can go and worship him. After hearing the king, they went on their way. And there it was, the star they had seen in the east. Fast forward. After these men had seen the young child, hear what happened. And being warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their own country by another route. You can now see that the aim of Herod was not truly to go and bless the young child. His aim was to cut off his life because he thought he was coming to struggle for the throne with him. And that is why we are going to pray for our youth. A lot of things happen. As a deliverance minister, I have seen parents who gave birth to their children and people coming to visit came with evil intent. A child had been afflicted with sickle cell anemia. It was a deliverance. It was discovered. Some people will come to bless the child, laying hand on the head, wicked hand, covering their excellence in life. So this day, we are going to pray, taking it from this portion. There is always a herald that is after the good of your family, after the good of your children. When they see that that child is bright, they want to dim the brightness. But this day, they are going to meet their waterloo in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we are going to pray this prayer and say, as many as seek the downfall privately, shall, the downfall of your children will privately, privately shall perish. I decree this day that every demonic inquirer that is inquiring concerning the well-being and breakthrough of your children shall be doomed. Everywhere they go to, whatever they raise as a sacrifice, the hand of the Lord will break them and shatter them in pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand they have laid upon your children. Every evil word they projected against them. Every evil incantation, invocation, calling up their names to weaken and frustrate their destiny and keep them perpetually in mediocrity. Today, by the finger of God, we command them completely destroyed. By the finger of God, we command them completely destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Herod was after the child because he has seen the star, the glory that that child carried. Everywhere they have taken the names of your children to go and lock them up. Today by the earthquake of God, I ask Lord that you will locate where that evil has been perpetrated. Because the Bible says the earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. The people and, and they that dwell therein. Therefore, wherever they have buried the glory of your children, I call this the earth, O oh earth erupt and loose them and bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ. I also begin to decree and declare that in this month, it, your star, the star hunters of your destiny, the star hunters of the destinies of your children, I decree they will keep hunting until they fall into the pit and buried in the name of Jesus Christ. I also decree and declare that in this month of hell from above, the glory and the stars of your children will appear. And no power can hinder it. No power can dim it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And even as their glory appears, their destiny helpers will not rest until they locate them with the packages of miracles and blessings that God has for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I decree that those destroyers, 
those who are the destroyers will receive, destroyers of the destinies of your children will receive the mantle of mockery. Every evil they plotted will backfire. The Bible said, associate yourself, all you people, you will be broken in pieces. When they network, they shall be broken in pieces. When they fortify, they shall be broken in pieces. They speak the word, it shall not come to pass. Why? Because God is with us. God is with our children. God is with our teenagers. God is with our youths. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, every power that has tried to truncate them and turn their lives backward, I decree today they are pulled forward. I pull them forward into the able hands of God, into a place of glory, into a place of announcement, into the place of celebration. In the name of Jesus Christ, God said to Moses in Exodus 31 verse 1, he said to Moses, I have prepared two young men, Basilil and Aholia. He has given them, he said, I have given them my spirit for wisdom, for understanding, for knowledge, and all kinds of skill. All kinds of skill. To make artistic designs, sculptures, and furnitures. What a glorious God. It's placed upon our youth. Did you wonder how God called out to Moses and said, I have prepared two young men. And these young men will reach out and get others. And also impute into them the skills that God has given unto them. Our youths, our children shall be solution providers in the name of Jesus Christ. And therefore begin to decree and declare this day that the Lord God whom we serve will place upon our youth the spirit of wisdom, of understanding, the spirit of knowledge into all kinds of skills, artistic designs, sculptures, and even furniture, garment making. The Lord our God is bringing an unusual anointing, an unusual grace upon our youths. They shall not be youths that are bringing shame to the kingdom of God and to our nation. Our youths will not bring shame, will not bring humiliation unto the kingdom of God first and also unto our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. We therefore begin to decree and declare that every power that is projecting to frustrate our youths and launch them into what they are not, I stand by the authority in the name of Jesus and decree their deliverance. I decree their deliverance by the finger of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will take them over. We take them over. Convict them of the lifestyle that does not glorify God. We are standing today by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ to decree and declare their freedom in the name of Jesus. Their freedom in the name of Jesus. Our children will serve the Lord God. They will make impact on the earth. And also they will make heaven. Our children will commit righteousness. Did you hear me? I decree that our youth will commit righteousness. And I speak from today, they will begin to commit righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will begin to commit not only righteousness, but they shall become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And so, Lord, I decree also for excellent spirit upon them. Spirit, excellent spirit, spirit of sound integrity. I am decreeing it upon our youth in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil the enemy plotted will reverse it now. I decree it reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree upon our youth everywhere, not only in Overcomers Church, everywhere, let the hand of the Lord come upon you. I ask that the power of the Holy Ghost will take you over from now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the glorious name of Jesus Christ, you shall be celebrated. Where you were rejected before, get ready. There will be an acceptance in the name of Jesus. The power of God has come upon you. I decree also you shall be mighty in the earth and you shall be blessed. Every step you take will bring blessing. Wealth and riches will dwell in your homes, in your abode, in everything that pertains to you. And in the midst of darkness, you will shine so bright as a great light. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree it is well with you. Receive that oil that flows from heaven. It's called the oil of gladness. It lifts you up above your equals. And that is what you are receiving right now. This oil is coming from the hand of the Lord, right upon our youth everywhere. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, even those that have not come to the knowledge of Christ, there is a conviction in their spirit to turn from evil and turn to good. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you this day. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Let that word begin to walk in the lives of our children. In Jesus Christ's matchless name, we have prayed. Amen.